So, this is what we're doing now, aren't we? Yes, it seems like that. Well, I mean, it's better than... Well, it's better than nothing. At least we actually get something, finally. Yeah, I, you do have a point. We actually do get to actually do something. This is like out of canon, isn't it? Yes. The boss couldn't even give us something that is in canon. Did he give you the same runaround he gave me? That there's so many moving parts, he can't really fit us into this storyline? Yep, exactly that. Yes, he gave me the spiel. <sighs> I just... You was... You, uh, mad? A little, yeah. But hey, um, I guess we can talk about other things that are going on with, you know, me and you. <sighs> okay, well, for those people that don't know who we are, I'm Overlord Bugsy. And yes, I mean an actual Overlord magic spells and incantations and blowing people's heads up. The usual shit. And I am, and I am, Dr. Megalo, formerly known as Bug Insano. Yes, I was that, and yes, I was, character-wise, I was originally derived as an Insano Bugsy, which really wasn't that great. I rolled the world, I rolled the, I technically rolled the world, and now I'm just bored. I'm bored with everything. I'm bored with everything, and this is like, you know, the, the boss would throw me a bone at least, but I don't even get that. It's fucking maddening. Hey, at least, at least, you're basically not, at least you're basically not forgotten as much as I am. You know, I'm not saying we were, I'm not saying I was here longer, but, you know. Kind of pisses me off. Either way it goes. Well, I mean, it could be worse. Think about it. Mm, how could it be worse? We could, we could literally have Melvin's role. Oh yeah, just no. I don't think we'd have Melvin's role because uh, the boss doesn't even hate us, and we're not even strongmen on that front. Well, you do have a point there. So... So... So, Megalo, what you doing for Christmas? Ah, the usual. You know, since they ruled the world, they gave people more freedom, so... Yeah, just another day where... Where, uh, they'll all go shopping, and I'll go shopping for myself. Probably shop for you guys, get you some presents, you know, that, that sort of thing. That's what I'm probably gonna go do. Oh. I mean, that's, that's actually pretty nice. What you gonna give me? Hey, I was thinking of getting you one of those, you know, little arcane spell books you like. What you gonna go get, Prime? You know, one of his you, you know, getting him one of those neckties. He's always saying, he's always saying in the break room that he has, you know, he doesn't have enough ties to go on fancy like events or adventures. So I was gonna go get him a set of ties. What about Noir? Uh, he was talking to me about a magnifying glass that he wanted. But then it's like, no, I can give, I can give him a regular magnifying glass, or I can give him a, a better one. So you're making, so what you're saying is you're making that one. Pretty much, pretty much. Hmm, that's cool, I guess. Um. So. 
How do you feel about that Black Bomber character that they always talk about? Ah, uh, the man is... The man has no freaking... The man has no freaking filter. That man will get with anything with a pulse and... and a female chromosome. It doesn't matter to him whether she is evil, good, or in between. As long as he's getting that fine, fine, fine action, he does not care. How do you feel about it? Uh, if, you, if I had to be honest, I feel like Black Bomber is just kind of... He just... To me, I feel like... If we have to get involved in the Devil Zeta Breaker universe, which I know half of the council is, so we might as well just keep it at that. But if I have to but if I have to explain it, I feel like if I feel like, okay, and this is me. This is this is Overlord Bugsy talking, and I just I feel like freaking Seto is horrible. I mean, we're technically evil, but the thing is, we wouldn't try to destroy our own universes just for the sake of, like, giving in to pleasure. So that was that kind of person. And, like, I heard that Black Bomber is, like, still talking to her. What did, you know, what, you know, I was thinking, what would we say? I would say, put down the fucking phone, you fucking simp. You need to chill. Seriously. Honest to God, you need to chill, Black Bomber. Like, Jesus, find an honest woman who doesn't want to plunge every universe into chaos. And not our type of chaos. Not even Prime's type of chaos. I know, it's like really dumb. It's like every time. It's like every time Black, Black Bomber is... Like, even when Black Bomber goes to freaking rehab. Yes, he's just going back to his same old stuff. Yes, he was doing it to break down Seto and all this other stuff. But the thing about that is, that was the, that was the clone. Wait a minute, Seto has a clone? Yes, she has a clone. That wants to get Black Bomber and, you know, show him, show him the way the universe works. If you catch my drift. Man, that is just... That's twisted. They're twisted, man. I mean, more twisted than we are. And that says something. Like, if we have... We have reservations and apprehensions on this kind of... On this kind of shit. And I just feel like, honest to God... You know, honest to... Honest to God, I just feel like... It's really just kind of weird and a little bit insane that Seto, that like Black Bomber through everything is still gonna go and be with Seto. And he knows that most of us Bugsies have dealt with Seto in one way or another. Me, and I know you have Overlord. It wasn't really a good, it wasn't really a good, it wasn't really a pleasant visit, but I guess Seto only likes people who are just submissive. Do you really think, but when I think about it, is Black Bomber submissive or dominant? Do you really want to know the answer to that question? Like, do you really think... That's worth wasting all of our brain cells to figure out. You know, actually, you do have a point that uh, I totally would not want to even for a second, like, want to think about that. But can we just say that, like, what about that scout dude? What about that uh, spy dude? Well, I think that's... Well, I believe and I think... Sorry, I was... Sorry. I had my little autoresponder kind of do that for me. Weird. 
Yeah, he goes off every once in a while. But, I don't know. With Spy, I would say... He's just... I mean, like the, like the regular people say, he's literally just a hater. Like, and I'm like, think about this. He's a hater. Simply because... He was racist to the Dorians, but when a Dorian finally gave him, gave him the goods, he freaking changed his tune. <laughs> he changed his whole ideology. I'm just like, were the goods that good? Probably, knowing a, you know, knowing, knowing Dorian women, of course it's probably good. Probably. Probably something that his little French mind can handle. Well, why do you think he's so submissive? I think he's submissive simply because... I mean... Getting all that stuff is, like, good. But the thing is, Black Bomber was, like, ready to just, like... You know, get it on in front of, like... Spy... Why? Well, Black Bomber's banging, like, two... Like, Black Bomber's, like doing things to two chicks it's just it's freaking like it like spy being the kind of dude that was like so prideful and so like convinced in his own goals just being kind of like uh just just a regular like a regular just you know cuck it's just kind of stupid don't you think it is but i mean think about it isn't it more of a fitting isn't it more of a fitting punishment that he act, that he basically gets basically cucked by the same by the same person he called weak, you know, while he's in love with a dragon who doesn't even really care about you know him per se. I mean, think about it. It's a great punishment for him. I mean, yeah. I mean, you do got a point. It's, I would say it's a very easy punishment for him. Yes, exactly. Dude, don't, like, don't you see? It is a very good and precise punishment. You know? Think about it like that. Mm, I think if he was in our universes, we'd make him suffer a little bit more. Oh, Un undoubtedly yes after what he did to Mahoshi poor girl she did not deserve that stupid racist alien shit that freaking spy was projecting out of his out of his idiot hole so I heard that the I heard that the like the bugs like the bugsy trio were on that ship I heard, I heard Prime said he was gonna like rearrange, uh, but and rearrange like half of Red Team if they tried to do anything because everybody's just trying to have a good time. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I heard. Prime was like, look, Prime was like, look, if you, okay, let me use my, uh, let me use my, uh, my. On a responder voice. He said, and I quote, Oh yeah, but Bugsy Prime mode, please. He said, and I quote, If you ever if you're trying to start some stuff just because the Tijuyo characters are here, we we, me, Noir, and G will make sure you guys get booted back to your get booted back to your places of origin. So literally if you're not here to be cool, we got a portal that will shove you guys back to where you belong. Got it? Good. Dude, but of course Prime's gonna be but of course Prime's gonna put his foot down because that's him. He lives he lives that life every other day. He he'll throw down with anybody if it means if it means people will get some peace. I mean I mean I've seen I've seen the kind of I've seen the kind of power prime packs. Kind of makes me wonder why we don't have that kind of power with us. The boss says we kind of use it indiscriminately and probably become an actual threat. So, bullshit. 
Okay, bullshit on that, because, like, literally, we don't really want to take over the multiverse. That's more of a, that's more of a wrath thing. That's not an us thing. I mean, the only thing I'd probably use uh, the Chaos Force for is probably just if I need to fight or defend myself. What about you? Ugh. You guys, like, in my universe, unicorns are not really a nice species of, like, mystical horses. They are coniferous, hungry monsters. Like, Jesus. It's worse than mermaids. Mermaids are worse. There are so many, so many, like, people in my moat. That are no longer among the living. Because mermaids decided to come in there. You have a... You have a moat? It's a... It's a rather big moat. Um, it's kind of like... It's, it's more like a gigantic like lake almost. But yeah. Like mermaids can come and, come and go throughout there and take people. And it's a good... It's a good trade-off. But they never take... They never take... They're victims. They just leave them in the moat. And I'm like, that's threatening, but it just kind of makes it cluttered and makes my makes my moat smell like, you know, corpse. I'm not down with that. Why are we getting a lot of uh, dog noises in the background? Uh, one of the one of the little. Well, the little chihuahuas are kind of uh, hawking that new, hawking that new um, product they're hawking. What is it? It's a, it's like a dog beauty product. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. But here's the thing. It only works on various chihuahuas. Okay. Does it not work on the whole, like, species of dog? Like, the whole different breeds? No, just chihuahuas. So, the boss gave a dog ad space, basically. Yep, it seems so. But back to the point. I mean, I mean, when it really comes down to it, would any of us, and I mean this, would any of us when me or you slap slap black bomber in the face is that even a question i mean i think i think it's pretty obvious what we do i mean i would look at, i mean i wouldn't even try to like do my usual shtick with black bomber i'd be like look man i know you love i know you love the crazy i know you love the crazy dictator but you gotta understand something. A lot of us, even a lot of us Bugsies, have dealt with Seto. We have dealt with Seto so many times, in so many different ways, and so many different places. The re like, I know you don't want to be a part of the fighting, but you never put your foot down for you never put your foot down for your friends. Because you're usually easily tricked, or you don't, or you don't ask enough questions, or Washu raises your memory, and you you just like, you just like, you know, you don't even question that. And when and when you finally realize they're erasing your memory, you still try to hang out with them, and you know, get, you know, you get down and get, you get down and freaky. And it's like, dude, there's nothing wrong with getting down and freaky. I get down and freaky with Scarlet every other, day, every other day, if I'm being honest. But I'm just saying, as a as a card carrying overlord, man. You know, me and Ains go me and Ains go golfing every every now and again. And uh, I'm just like, man, you gotta think about it from your pers you gotta think about it from your friend's perspective and not your own. Because you just live kind of a kind of a pampered life with like you know, Seto pretty much giving you everything. And before she was banned, you pretty much had everything under the sun. Chicks. More chicks. Chicks. Chicks just everywhere. Dorian chicks basically giving themselves to you. 
you know? It's just like, you didn't, you never questioned the shit that said it would do, to do. Like, the viruses, the turn, like, the turning people and the different genders, and it's like, you know, beyond, you know, against their wills, and all this other stuff, man. It's like, rather than actually be that person we think you can be, you rather just give it, you rather just have it both ways. And to me, Black Bomber can't have it both ways. He's got to make a choice. It's either Seto or them. Because literally, we, we both, we both know what Lilith Mon was planning to do. To, we both know what Lilith Mon was planning to do to, to Kuro. Yes, and if, you know, and really, if we're really sitting here thinking about that for a minute. Like, if I had one thing to say to set out, how do you not know that Lilith Mon is a very, like, an actual... Ver an actual degenerate and a whole bunch of other things that we can't really say on this program because this one's gonna end up on YouTube it's because Seto never Seto never thinks about the plan she actually does it's only just it's like one it's like one big plan that's gonna change everything but she never accounts for anything else that's why she's such a stupid that's why she's such a stupid villain. I mean, honestly. What better antagonist than her? I mean, if... I mean, if Kuro was my... Like, if I had a kid... Like Kuro, and I was doing something to go mess with Dome Man or whoever... I wouldn't make that thing so freaking... Well, so degenerate-tastic. It does something that I can't... That I didn't foresee. Like, I'd have a bunch of kill switches on that. On that very experiment. Just so, if I need to shut it down, I'll shut it down. Same, I'd have a bunch of, like, anti-spells just ready to take it down if it ever did something. I know, like, that is normal, man. I'm just like, and you know, Black Flower's like, oh... I'm still talking to Seto. And, you know, like, Goemon is just like, Hey, buddy, you know, how about you go and actually talk to a girl? You know, that isn't Seto. That, that doesn't want to constantly throw us in constant upheaval and constant war and constant fighting. But he's like, but he's like no, it's complicated. And, I, you know, and I saw that too. I was like, how complicated is it? Man, how complicated is it? It's pretty simple. It's pretty cut and dry. Like, legit. It's pretty fucking cut and dry here. The person who constantly starts everything. Like, when I think about it, Devil Man doesn't really... Devil Man only started to crap because he went insane for a bit. And then, like, you know, but Black Bomber wouldn't be talking all that shit, like... Like, no one has been ever affected by freaking Seto's, like, Seto's bullshit, which, it, you know, people have. You know? Whether she, whether Black Bar wants to admit that shit or not, and he has admitted it, but it's like, bro, you gotta, you, you understand, but you still act like, you still act like everybody else has to, has to tolerate you and Seto. When literally they've been through the ringer. Devil Man alone got his sanity back. He got to be the regular Devil Man we all knew, we all know, love, and care about. But then we got freaking Black Bomber's stupid self talking that stupid shit, talking about like he's gonna punch Bright in the face, man. Like, I wish Black Bomber would say that shit to me. Because you know what I do. I just pull out the worst thing he freaking fears. And then just shove him in that freaking nightmare. Where the screaming would never fucking stop. And the and the countless souls that Seto had destroyed is just in there with him. Until he breaks. And that and that's like that's like on a that's on a mental level. On a physical level. I'd just be able to, I'd be able to mollywop him because those, those freaking, um, 
body enhancements don't mean shit to to a Bugsy. It doesn't mean shit to us Bugsies because we're like strong in our own right. So it's like, 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 what do you like, Black Bomber? Who do you think you can beat up? Okay, who like you can beat up these little you can beat up these little mofos in your universe. But if like any of us Bugsies got into the mix. You're getting your, you're not just getting your ass beat. You're getting embarrassed in front of everybody. You're getting a wedgie. You're getting like all this different stuff because all of us do different stuff to our opponents. So I'm like sitting there just going like, who do you think you threatening? Is that when is that when he had the, uh, you know, the Seto cruise boat thing? Yeah. Exactly when he had that. <laughs> you know, I really think it's kind of funny that he, he'd be, he be acting all tough about Seto. But, like, legit, he's the one person that is always so far removed from all the Seto shit. And, you know, like, Seto could be doing, like, just, just war crimes and a bunch of other stuff. But here Black Mama go... I'm not even a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. And, you know, I just want to help my friends. But like I said, he can't have it both ways, man. You can't have you can't have your cake and eat it too, you know, in this in this scenario. Yes, but I think that Black Bomber doesn't really care. He's like to be honest, he's a simple creature that goes under sim that has simple emotions. When you mean simple emotions, you mean like... Yes, I mean like... Honestly, I, I mean like, honestly, he's very simple. Like, legit. Let's be real. The universe beta stuff did kind of carry over to Black Bomber's, like, personality. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of normal. He was praying to Toki me and all that... All that... All that shit. All that stuff, you know, all that shit. But literally, now he's just like, I must put my wick into everything. I must put my wick into everything. <laughs> he's, he's like grabbing those little, he's grabbing those little like power ups going, bomb up! Oh, I'm about to show you what bomb up really means. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of. You know, you know, um, Megalo, I don't, I don't ever see you. I don't ever see you with anybody. Ah, uh, dude, trust me. I don't need to be with anybody. I mostly devote myself to science and, and my pursuits. Yeah, but you're kind of like Megamind. I mean, you basically got your world. You basically got everything you want. But you gotta admit, it's pretty lonely. You just got you and your henchmen. As you guys watch The Sopranos together. How do you know we watch The Sopranos? I have spies, dude. I'm just saying. How about you come down to my universe? Uh, go down, we go down to the Snakehead Tavern and... We get you a girl. From your universe? Isn't your universe more medieval? I mean, yeah. But you could probably get some... You could probably get some experience, you know. Be like, hey, I'm Dr. Megalo. I rule the world, you know. And I can take... I can take and I can put you in the palm of my hand if you want. You know, something easy. <sighs> My friend, it'd be it'd be nice, but I think I'm better off by myself. Oh, have it your way, but like, you wanna go? You wanna go eat after this? We only got like a few more minutes. Oh, yes, I would. I I would enjoy that very much, so. Um, where you wanna go? Well, since we're in your universe, I was thinking, let's go to In and Out. Why do you want to go to In and Out so bad? Like seriously, every time you're here, you just want to go eat In and Out. There are other fast food restaurants you can go to. Why? 
why? I mean, you know, ever since I've been teleported to my new universe, which is more medieval, I kind of miss in and out. That that used to be when I was reg when I had a regular universe and I talked like this. I just kind of miss having a. Re- I kind of miss, you know, just going in and out, doing what I do. Okay, can we at least stop at Fat Burger? Oh, sure thing. You're gonna go get some chili? Yeah, the usual. As much as they're allowed to give me. Dang. You're gonna put away that much chili. My whole body weight. And, it, this, and the stuff I can't finish, I'm gonna give to the henchman. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Um... Anything else? <sighs> if I have a mess, if if I have one message to demo, if I have one message to Black Bomber, I would say, sir, you need to understand this. You can't keep playing this game where you're both where you're on both sides. Because Overlord, because Overlord Bugsy and I have a point. You can't play the. You can't do this from both sides. You have to choose a side and stick with it. I know you have friends, but you gotta choose. Are your friends more important, or is Seto the person who has constantly proven to every last single one of us how much she actually cares about living beings and yourself, and what it really means to be with somebody? It is that what you really want in life? You know? I mean, we're not going to tell you not to stick your wick in anything you don't want. And anything you want. But we're just trying to... We're just trying to... We're just trying to direct you into something a little bit more... uh, Regular. Attainable. Not crazy. Not wanting to destroy everything. Everybody holds dear to the point where... All of us Bugsies have to lock off every series that... The Devil Zeta Breaker YouTube channel actually does. Yeah, they get shunted, but we gotta lock those. We gotta lock some of those universes up, depending on how bad they get. If it's like a regular benign universe, the council doesn't really lock those up. But if it gets like universe beta levels, we have to lock that up. We can't risk um, the universes being tainted. We can't ex- we can't risk the universe being tainted by Seto's bullcrap. So. And oh yeah, Spy, wherever you are, just know we hate you. Pretty much everybody in the, pretty much everybody in the Bugsy Council fucking hates you. And if we had our way, let's just say you'd be, you'd probably be, I'd probably roboticize you. Because you'd be better as a robot than you ever were as an actual person. And I'd probably make you into one. I'd probably make you into a goblin, because you'd be better as a goblin than you ever were as a human. Yeah. Then me and uh, I guess me and Megalo can experiment on you. So, yeah. I guess we're done here. All right, folks. If you like this, if you like this, and you want us to do this more on here, the new grounds, because we're going to be doing, because this is just like kind of like a pilot that we're doing on like YouTube to give everybody kind of a sample of what we're doing. But you know, like and subscribe if you like this. Um, there are more things coming in the future, more audio based, so you should just you know stay tuned for that. And if you want us to just stay on YouTube or or the other. Big Three Box Studio adjacent channels. I uh, just give us <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, a little cough. Um, just give us a comment. Oh yeah, and say and uh, oh yeah, put hashtag Megalo Megalo and Overlord rule, and they should be and say that we should be main characters. Let the boss know that you guys actually like hearing us. Dude, you're shooting your shot too much. Let's just let's just get out of here and go grab some fabric burger in and out. Because I am starving. How about you? Man, you already know.
You already know. So, uh, what about, uh, can we bring Bug Caro with us? There's a, there's a Lin Caro, there's a Lin Caro Bugsy universe. I mean, that kind of is, and he's kind of cool. You know, I think it would be cool if we could hang out with him for a bit. Uh, fine. The more the merrier. Um, um, we're taking your car or mine? Mine, because it's faster. Your thing is a jalopy. See, that, see that's not cool, man. You're, you know, you, you can't even use your car in your universe. The locals will be like, oh my god, he has made some sort of wheel device that roars. Okay, you're really saying that my subjects are that dumb. I mean, you do have a point, though. Alright, right, your car. See you guys later. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You know. Seriously, I know you guys think that all of us, like, everybody who says that is lame and stupid, but come on, that's kind of what we all need to do if we're gonna, if we want to make these things that we're doing come, you know, more vi more viable. It'd be a great way to kind of show that, you know, we don't need Sonic content to make, to make this interesting, you know what I mean? Just saying. We'll see you guys later. Peace. See you all later, and... Remember, don't be like Black Bomber. You can't have things both ways. And you should cherish your friends, your loved ones. And if you're dating someone that is, you know, settle inclined, dump the, dump the bitch. Please. Please. Dump the bitch or bastard. You don't need it. That's whether you're a chick or a dude. Just... I'm telling you, dump them. You don't want to get down with that kind of crazy. Just saying. Peace, everybody. Peace.